Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Interactive, bringing you another pick today to put on your radar and put on your watch list, bring your attention to QNI in Canada, Quebec Nickel, QNI in Canada, QNICF in America. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. We're talking about. We're talking about some nickel. We're talking about copper. We're talking about platinum. We're talking about gold all in one in a very rich resource area in Quebec, Canada. We think that this could be one of the most undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities right here, right now in 2022. Let's take a look at Quebec Nickel, shall we? Quebec Nickel on the CSE under the symbol QNI, on the OTCQB under the symbol QNICF, and in Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol 7IB. Take a look at the fact sheet here. Quebec Nickel Corp is a Canadian exploration company currently exploring for nickel, copper deposits in the province of Quebec. Some of the highlights, mining friendly jurisdiction at all levels of government, surface showing and historical drilling with strong NICU PGE results, and state-of-the-art airborne VTEM survey completed in March 2020. A little bit about Quebec Nickel Corp. Maintains a 100% ownership in a prospective nickel, copper, platinum group element property named the Duke Rose Project, located in the eastern Apatibi Greenstone Belt in Q1 2022. QNI completed an airborne VTEM survey over the Ducros property, phase one of a 20,000 meters drilling program is underway. This is the Ducos project property location map. So you can see kilometers and with other nickel projects and or past nickel producers within the Abitibi greenstone belt. So you can see the greenstone in the legend here the granitic terrain and the nickel project and or past producers. So it's just filled with opportunity here, filled with opportunity. This is their website. It's quebecnickel.com exploring for nickel copper PGE deposits in Quebec. And you can see here the symbols on the left, Q and I on the Canadian securities exchange, CSE on the OTCB markets. OTCQB markets in America, QNICF, and in Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol 7IB. Quebec Nickel. This is the stock right here, currently at 21 cents in Canada. Now, if we go to the one year, you can see it's been as high as 41 cents. I think it's extremely important to be able to chart your investments and know exactly where you're putting your money and know where you're buying and you're selling. So you can see the high, high and the low, low in the last year, low, low of nine cents, high, high of 44 cents and currently at 21 cents. So you can see where it is on the chart. And we always like to buy on the dips and try to buy early stage companies, growth companies like Quebec Nickel, on dips. That is the strategy here. You can see the average volume about 267,000 over the last three months. Pretty good volume here. And so far today traded 165,000 shares. That's the Canadian symbol in America, QNICF. Here it is, Quebec Nickel in America currently at 10 cents. You can see the one year chart and a lot of the same here. High of 23 cents in America. You are asking why the price is different. It's different because the 
Obviously, the dollar is higher in America. That's why you see a different price. You can see it's been as high as 23 cents in America, as low as 7 cents, or let's say around 8 cents, and currently at 10 cents in America. Doesn't trade very much in America yet. Traded 879 shares per day over the last three months. So very thinly traded in America, which means people don't know about this yet. It hasn't really been discovered yet in America, but we're discovering it here first and we're bringing it to you, the people. And what we're going to do is we're also going to create a chat room on richtv.io for Quebec Nickel. So members can go in there and share news and talk about it. And we'll be doing that on Rich TV as well. You can see the Quebec Nickel Management. David Patterson is the CEO. Ming Jang is the CFO. And Gary is the VP of Exploration. You can see the Board of Directors and Advisory Board. And Capital Structure. Now, Capital Structure is extremely important to us. Shares issued an outstanding 71.6 million shares. So it's extremely tightly held. Stock options, 5.7 million. Warrants, 17.7 million warrants. And fully diluted, 95.1 million fully diluted. You can see their contact information, 1855QNickel, 1855764235. And you can email them at info at quebecnickel.com if you have any questions. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we this we believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. We love to bring you companies early before anybody else. And we'd love to know what you think about Quebec Nickel. And you can see their symbols there. Once again, Q&I in Canada, Q&I CF in America. And you can see their Frankfurt listing, 7IB. And once again, the project, property, location map, the Ducros project, property, location map. And on their website, you can see their corporate presentation, their fact sheet, and technical report all available on the website as well. You can get their contact information, all their biggest news, investor information, information on the team, and the project all on their website. You want to do an overview on Nickel, click on Nickel Overview, and you can get a full overview on Nickel, including the Nickel uses. You can see right here, nickel is a primary used to produce stainless steel, as well as added to electric vehicle batteries in order to increase range. So obviously, the electrification of electric vehicles is huge going into 2030 and beyond. And nickel is primarily used for stainless steel, as well as added to electric vehicle batteries in order to increase range. Tesla currently uses nickel in its long range and high end vehicles. You can see the EV demand is skyrocketing. Nickel is a key component of most lithium ion batteries and a necessary component of most EV batteries. A trend towards increasing energy density has tended to push the nickel component and content up in the cell in order to increase energy density and reduce production costs. Market overview, you can see here nickel, manganese, cobalt oxide, NMC, is the increasingly dominant lithium ion battery chemistry for electric vehicles. And you can see how it will be growing up until 2040. And you can see the nickel spot price over the last year. and the long-term outlook. Nickel is our biggest concern for scaling lithium ion cell production. This is directly from the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, why we believe you need to be looking at Quebec Nickel. Like we went through the share structure, very tight share structure, and 
trading very, very low, very, very cheap, despite the fact that it is in a sector that is very much needed. So in my opinion, there's huge potential for Quebec Nickel. Love to know what you guys think. If you comment on the video, we really would appreciate it. If you like these videos, please smash the like button. If you would like to subscribe to Rich TV and get future updates, we really would appreciate it. And you can also subscribe to Quebec Nickel right on their website at quebecnickel.com. Go and subscribe. Be the first to note about major milestones and project updates by subscribing. Just click subscribe for updates. Just put in your first name, last name, and email, and then subscribe. We also like to follow whatever we are looking at and investing into on Twitter. So you can follow Quebec Nickel on Twitter. And you can follow them on LinkedIn. I'm now following them on LinkedIn. And we have a very large community on LinkedIn, close to 30,000 followers. And you can follow them on Facebook. I am now following them everywhere. There we go. There we go. We are now following them everywhere. And you can see right here, Quebec Nickel Corp is a junior exploration company focused on the development of high-grade nickel district in Quebec, Canada. And you can see Quebec Nickel owns 100% of a prolific nickel district located in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. Now, if you go to the website and you click on project, you can see there are 15,147 hectares, 280 claims, Provincial Highway 113 crosses the property on the east side, well-established network of logging roads, rail line, and power within five kilometers of the property. And the property is located 80 kilometers from the mining city of Val d'Or between the towns of Lebel sur Quevillon, 45 kilometers away, and Sanitaire, 30 kilometers away, regional airport in Val d'Or, 100 kilometers to the southwest of the property. And you can see the work program, Q1, Q2, 2022, all the way to Q3, Q4, 2022. In Q3 and Q4, 2022, something to look at, the continue phase two drilling program, always huge, to watch drill programs in Q1 and Q2 of 2022. They had the maiden 20,000 meter multi-phase drill program. Phase one is underway. And multiple exploration targets that they are really focusing on and zeroing in on. You can see here the geology legend, the Quebec Nickel Corp properties and areas of focus. And you can see here the Fortin Sill the Ducros Sill Complex, and the Ducros Gabro. Once again, just subscribe to be the first to know about company news and milestones. And you can get all that information right on their website at quebecnickel.com. And investors can go through the entire overview, click on investors, and learn everything you need to know about Quebec Nickel right on their website. And once again, you can see here, they've got their presentation. Just click on download. And you can learn everything you need to know about Quebec Nickel right there. I mean, they've got so much that they're finding here, including gold. So very high grade NICU PGU slash AU mineralization drilled. So they've got nickel, copper, palladium, and gold mineralization drilling happening. Very significant. These are core samples. You can see all the information here. Unbelievable. And this is why we love to bring these types of undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities to you first, because this is very undervalued, very underappreciated, very underexposed. And not too many people know about this company yet. And this growth story that has huge potential. Let's talk about their management a little bit. David Patterson, CF, CEO and director David is a former CEO of Emerita Resources Corp, an exploration and development company listed on the TSX Venture. David was also chairman of Donner Metals Limited, a mineral exploration and development company listed on the TSX Venture. For more than 30 years, he has been involved in the administration and financing of exploration companies based in North America. 
David holds a Master's of Business Administration from Simon Fraser University, and he also played in the CFL. VP of Exploration, Gary DeShooter. Gary is a professional geologist with more than 25 years of industry experience with a focus on exploring for NICUPGE deposits, nickel, copper, palladium deposits within Canada and abroad. He began his mineral exploration career with Falcon Bridge Limited and spent almost 10 years working at Anglo American as a key member of its Vancouver based global nickel, copper, palladium exploration team. More recently, Gary spent six years at the Lac des Ailes Palladium Mine in northwestern Ontario, where he was responsible for the management of within mine and brownfields exploration programs. Also take a look at their CFO, Ming Jang. Ming is a professional accountant with 25 years of senior financial management experience in various sectors, including cannabis, nonprofit organizations, and mining. He currently serves as a financial consultant to various private and public listed companies. Ming drives robust financial management and the setup, implementation, and oversight of financial and regulatory process. All of that information here exclusively at your fingertips here at Rich TV. We're also going to create a group chat on richtv.io where you're going to be able to learn more about Quebec Nickel. And I'd love to know your opinion on Quebec Nickel. What do you guys think? Do you own this stock? Are you thinking about owning this stock? Do you like what you see? This is their board of directors and their advisory board. So building a strong team with lots of experience with a very good quality capital structure, which is extremely important to us. Fully diluted 96.6 million shares and the price is right. It's still really, really cheap and people are just learning about this company. And now I'd love to know what you guys think about Quebec Nickel Corp. Quebec Nickel, their news from August 30th. Quebec Nickel Corp intersects 1.85% nickel, 1.65% copper, 3.27 grams a ton platinum, palladium, gold, over 8.43 meters in Stepo drilling at the Fortin Sill Zone Ducros Project, Abitibi, Quebec. So this is their latest news. Be aware of the news. And if there's any other big breaking news, we will bring it to you first. That's what we do at Rich TV. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis. We bring you CEO interviews. And we bring it to you first. Assay results from the summer 2022 channel sampling program of the Fortin Sill Discovery Outcrop returns greater than 1.50% nickel. Huge plus copper and 2.0 grams a ton, platinum, palladium, gold. This is the news from August 30th, Quebec Nickel Corp, q and in Canada, 7IB in Frankfurt, Germany, and q and icf in America is pleased to announce new assay results from step-out drilling completed at the Fort and Sill Zone, Ducros Project, located 80 kilometers northeast of Val d'Or, Quebec. Additionally, the company also reports assay results from the Fort and Sill Discovery Outcrop Channel sampling program that was completed earlier this summer. So these are all the highlights. I'm not going to go through all the highlights, but let's just say they were spectacular, okay? And this is why we're bringing them to your attention. Put it on your radar. Put it on your watch list. Let me know what you think about this news. Quebec Nickel, Fort and Sill Zone Step Out Drilling Program underway we'll keep you guys updated on any more news as it happens you can see here a permit application to complete additional drilling at the fortin sill zone has been submitted to the government of quebec once received the new permit will allow for the creation of multiple new access trails and drilling pads adjacent to and along the interpreted strike of the fortin sill zone you can see the areas of focus and the Fortin Sill Zone Channel Sampling Assay Program is underway. And they have a full update in the news as well. Love to know what you guys think about the news. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, and we'd love to bring it to you first. What do you think about Quebec Nickel Corp? Starting to come off the bottom right now. It's been higher in the last year, which means there's some huge upside. It's also been a little bit lower 
So it's very interesting to see where it's going to go from here. Obviously, the markets have a lot to do with where everything is right now. But you could see it's come back down from its highs, like most stocks have. Hit a low here around $0.09 cents here in Canada and is now back to 21 already. So starting to make some moves. Love to know what you guys think. What do you think about Quebec Nickel? This is Rich from Rich TV. And I'm out. Peace.